What is going on, Jets? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command with another FAFO file. Gentlemen, I am continuing with FAFO's greatest hits <laughs> with another legendary member. That's right, Mr. 8-Ball Jacket Guy, a.k.a. the Subway Slapper. Gentlemen, we all have seen the slap heard around the world. Now, I'm going to give you the aftermath of what went down with him. Now, this article was published on the 12th of November, 20. 14. All charges against eight ball jacket subway slapper dropped. This weekend, four people were arrested after a violent slappy brawl aboard an F train. The incident, which happened near West 4th Street Station shortly before 5 a.m. Saturday, reached its peak when a man in an eight ball jacket loudly slapped a woman who had been yelling and hitting him, sparking a wild melee. Now the charges against Jorge Pena, the 25 year old eight ball jacket wearer have been dropped entirely. Gentlemen, when you look at the entire video, that woman and the group she was with they were being loud and rowdy, and they had already assaulted one person, knocking their phone out of their hand. Right then, she should have got the hands of justice put on her, but that person decided that they were not going to do that. Now, once again, once again, ladies, you have an example of a man who actually held back. Now, what do I mean by that? He only slapped her. It was loud as hell, but he still held back. The guy was like six, like six, five, six, six, and he was a bouncer, but he still held back. He held back. He pulled his punch. The incident was caught on video and disseminated widely around the internet. Initially, Pena was charged with misdemeanor assault and disorderly conduct in the incident. He spent four nights in jail after the fight, but his lawyer says the charges were dropped after authorities determined he was acting in self-defense. Quote, unquote, this time the system worked. Attorney Carrie London told The Post. Um, no. No, the system did not work. If the system truly worked, they would have been able to determine that right off the jump. Once the video was given to them, then he should have never spent any time in jail, period. So no, the system didn't work in all actuality. Quote, unquote, thank God for smartphones because the DA's office was able to have all of the information in front of them at an early stage to show that our client did nothing wrong and acted in self-defense. London says that allegedly drunk strap hanger, Danae Howard, had been making fun of Pena's jacket and his slight speech impediment when she started to hitting him in the face with her six inch stiletto. So gentlemen, what do we always say about women? They tend to use weapons. Mm -hmm. Purses, shoes, the like. Quote, unquote, he's not an aggressive guy. He's like Andre the Giant, London said about his client, adding that he plans to press charges against Campbell this week. Howard, 21, had been charged with misdemeanor assault and disorderly conduct. Kevin Gill, 
21, was also charged with misdemeanor assault and disorderly conduct. And Shanique Campbell, a 21-year-old female, was charged with felony assault and disorderly conduct. Yeah. Yeah. So, when you watch the video, he says something. Once, and we know once black people, once we start getting clowned, that's when tempers really start to flare, especially when it comes to black women. Oh, they can run off at the mouth all the time, but you're not supposed to say anything. However, that does not work with other groups of men. Pena, who's obviously Hispanic, most Hispanic men don't play that shit. You disrespect them, yeah, you're going to catch something. And in her case, she caught the hand of justice. Boy, that slap, man. I tell you, every time I replayed that video, that slap, it sounded like a damn gunshot. <laughs> he slapped the shit out of her. But then, of course, the white knight, he decides he wants to come in and try to fight him. Bad move. Bad move. He got the shit beat out of him. That was funny. I love it when white knights get their asses kicked. I thoroughly enjoy that. Man, I tell you, we need more videos of white knights getting their asses kicked when they decide to intervene when a woman is being disrespectful, when she's assaulting a man, and then the man finally hits back, and then they decide they want to jump into action. Oh, I love it. I love seeing a white knight get his ass pummeled. I thoroughly enjoy it. Now, for the FAFO score, obviously, the subway slapper, Mr. Pena, is going to get a nine because that is legendary. It's on film. Everybody can see what happens. So yeah, Jorge Pena, aka 8-Ball Jacket, aka the Subway Slapper, gets a score of nine. That was then. This is now. Here we are today. And yes, more and more men are letting loose. It would seem that these women just have not learned anything. Oh, that's right. Silly me. I continue to think that these women think that since you're a man, you're not supposed to do anything to them. You're not supposed to physically assault them. Once again, let me be crystal clear on my position. I do not believe that men should let women hit them and not hit back. I'm very clear on that position. I'm not one of these guys who's going to sit here and be like, well, you know, I, I don't think men should hit women. No, 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 no. Women fought for equality. Therefore, they should be granted equality. We men know this. It's an unspoken rule between us men. Talk shit, get hit. There's a point where we as men know that things can get physical between us, which keeps us in check with each other. But women, oh, no, 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 no. They never got taught that lesson. However, nowadays they are getting taught that lesson. Yep. More and more men are starting to treat women as equals, i.e., once again, ass whoopings are rated E for everyone. And exactly, E for equality. So yeah, there you go, ladies. You want to be equal. Guess what? You run off at the mouth. You put your hands on a man. Guess what? that equality is going to show up. It truly is. However, 
Me personally, I've seen plenty of women get the shit knocked out of them for stepping to a grown ass man. And you know what I'm going to do? What I'm going to continue to do, excuse me. I'm going to continue to have my popcorn. I'm going to have my Jim Bean because uh, Jack Daniels going off to the left just a little bit. It would appear that Jack Daniels did a um, commercial or a campaign with drag queens. So, yeah, no more Jack Daniels for me, period. Once again, another company that decided to go woke and yeah, more people are letting them have it. But yeah, I'm just going to sit back, enjoy my popcorn and drinks and watch the show. Ladies, you wanted this. You got it. I find it very funny that more young men are starting to uh, put them hands on these modern day women. You're equal. Take that ass whooping. Well, I've rambled on long enough. Read the article. Go back and watch the video for a great laugh. And women around the world, you're really starting to find this out, especially in this day and age. The power you thought you had in this society is going out. Feminism and the idea that men were not going to return fire when you decided to put hands on them has gone out right along with it. What more can I say, gentlemen? Women back then, they've been putting their hands on men and some men have been returning fire. Nowadays, yeah, ladies, you are getting those equal opportunity ass whoopings and I'm thoroughly enjoying every video that I see of it. It is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am